Hi, this is Maggie, and today I'm talking about the chapter on Google. For the first question, um, in Unit 3, I learned about Google being used for, or the Google Drive being used for cloud storage. And um, that's really cool because you can access it from any device. And then I also learned about tips for organization in Google Drive, like managing file folders and um, everything syncs automatically. And then I also learned about tips for using Google Classroom. And um, your students can join with an access code and it's easily manageable for multiple classes. And um, it has easy worksheet templates that you can build your own worksheets off of. And you can also prepare in advance and um, have auto posting, which is really cool. So you don't have to put all the assignments in every week. You can do it all at, at the beginning of the school year and then they're there. Um, in unit four, the Google translation feature is really cool. And that definitely be great for different audiences. Um, I also learned about Google Groups in classrooms, um, like the Hangout, and um, you can talk to more than one person at a time with this. You can even video call your friends, and um, it sends notifications on your phone if you have it set up that way. Um, I think it would be benefic beneficial to get Google certified, but not right now because you have to redo it every two years. Um, I feel like it wouldn't do me very much good to do it now when I'd have to redo it when I become a teacher in a few years. Um, but I feel like it definitely makes you more employable. And that's just another thing you can add to your resume that would make you look even better. Um, uh, my experience using Google Slides, um, I really like it. It saves automatically. So you don't ever lose your work like sometimes you do with PowerPoint when the computer goes down. Um, it's free, so that's definitely a plus. It's easy to collaborate, and in college and high school you do a lot of group work. So that's definitely one of the features that I really like. Um, you can access it from any device. You don't have to have a computer that has PowerPoint downloaded onto it. And the last thing that I really like is that it's easy to use. I don't know if it has less features than PowerPoint or if it's just organized differently, but I, I think it's definitely easier to use.